Okay, so uh, I'll start this by saying then, Kyle um, doesn't have his mic yet, so uh. he offered to drop out the session, and I said he could play, uh, but I did admit that I didn't wish if he didn't have a mic to wait around for typing. So I, I sent him a description of what's going to happen this session. He told me what his character will be doing, just so it's not entirely contrived. Oh, okay. And I will relay that to you when it comes up in the plot. I but... be lost in time. Uh, but first, recap. Dun, 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 dun. What happened on the last session of Feng Shui? Tem, you start us off entirely at random. Okay, basically, Manly Machismo is the greatest guy in the universe, and you should not question him, because he's a badass hunter going for a bear. Um, basically, he and several other guys who are role-playing in this great adventure um, all got on a plane. Yep. And the plane was hijacked by terrorists. We beat the shit out of terrorists, we went to the cockpit, and then we got trapped in a alternate dimension kind of thing. And then we beat up some demons. And then we, then the plane was floating in the sky. Uh, we tried to get back on it, and then we ended up crashing, crash landing somewhere in the Middle Ages. 1850, to be precise. Oh. Hmm. Damn. Actually, that's not no, Middle no, Ages. <laughs> those 1850s were pretty Middle Aged. They were pretty middle, middle, middle late aged. Middle Aged. <laughs> uh -huh. That's when the backaches in the world started to come, to when the spine of the Earth just like, oh. You know, that, that does make sense. I think that makes sense. It's yeah. just the weight of all the humans on it. And the and one of the demons you took with you, well, the lead demon, the Taurus demon, got dragged along. <laughs> well, that's what he get. Got given a parachute and everything. <laughs> we can't say we weren't nice about it. Yeah. So, you, when, so how did it end? Does anyone else want to take take on that one, how it ended. I believe we sort of were approached by the leader of a group who was on horseback, mm. and we kind of either put our arms in the air, or at least my character did, and he was kind of like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> he, he really doesn't even understand this whole thing. Yeah, I think that was the perfect response to the day you just had, really. <laughs> yeah. He really just thought he was going to be sent over to Hong Kong, and then, yeah. I mean, he kind of was, just not exactly... Not, not, not the date he wanted. Yeah. He arrived a bit too early. What? <laughs> I mean, I know time zones are strange, but seriously. Mm. Hey, guys. Is... I think we arrived too early. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Okay, so it's later that same day. We open on a shot of a small mountainside village several miles from the site of the crash. The smoke would be visible on the horizon were it not for the light mist that hangs in the cold air. We see a series of hovels. Men and women slowly walk the streets, wrapped in animal furs, lighting small fires here and there before returning to their homes. A few men loading crates onto carts, spears slung around their backs. We see people offloading crates, moving goods, and we see uh, Kyle's character helping out with the helping out with them unloading. Okay, Zan, I, I'm just Zan, beaming. It's a oh, done. I was going to say, Zan looks to his companions, and he glances towards them, glances towards our scene, and he's a little gobsmacked, and he pretty much just bluntly asks, "How are you guys not freaking out about all this?" Um, yeah. just... It's just like in the movies, you know, you gotta live and learn. This is just probably all a dream. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, on I'm... that plane, sleeping so, so kind. I'm sleeping on that plane and my car is not stolen. I'm just admiring. I'm, I've just got this massive grin with all the people wearing animal furs. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I am so proud of you. <laughs> And I, I, I turn towards a small child, and I give him a thumbs up of approval, but he doesn't understand what a thumbs up is, so I move on. He kind of imitates the thumbs up, half-heartedly. <laughs> and so, the thumbs up was created. It's a reverse time loop. 
Congratulations, you've invented the the thumbs up. <laughs> All right, uh, an old, a wise and old man approaches you and asks you to and asks you to follow him uh, to his, to the hut he has claimed on the side of town. Wait, how can we understand them? Because I'm pretty sure this is before England came colonized it. He can or... speak English, curiously. <laughs> Somehow. See, it's a he... dream. How, why else would he speak? English. With his cane, he smacks you across the arm. Still believe it's a dream, young man? Yeah, ow! A very real dream. In fact, it might be a nightmare. This ain't no nightmare, kid. This is reality. Come, come, follow me. I, uh, all I just wanted was my car. Do you, well, do you follow the old man? Yeah, sure. sure. What, what, what choice do we have? You have the choice to shoot everyone in the village and burn it, but then I would be really on. I'd really be thrown off. Then, well, my guy's would not the sort of person, so. Would you be disappointed, Snake? Disappointed, because, but not surprised. Mainly because we're throws off all his clothes and runs off naked. Screaming into the sunset. The end. Now you see, the only problem I have with that is splitting the party. The rest I'm completely fine with. <laughs> <laughs> this chair is fucking dying. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Inside his hut, he prepares you all tea and lets you sit around a table. And he asks, it's pretty... Uh, I can't do an old man voice. It's pretty obvious you are not from around here. No, I'm ac from across the ocean, from a great land called America. Essex. America. <laughs> Does Zanyan butt in in character with Essex? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I'm amazing. A great land called Essex. The worst hellhole I've ever been a cop in. <laughs> Son, you must never go towards where the darkness dwells. That place is Essex. Uh, yeah. Carry on, sweet. Oh, yeah, that's what all he had to say, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, America. I have heard America. of such a land, but I was talking about time. Hey. Huh? Yeah. What? That well, was... America. It... America is certainly beyond time and space. Your clothes? The parachutes? The fact you're in a plane? You're not from this time, are you? Whoa, 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 man. How do you know what a plane is? Aren't you supposed to be one of those kooky old medieval people? You do not know much about time travel, do you? Or the I've inner world, I... or the things I... that lie behind I... what you see? Uh, uh, I have seen... Um... Return to the present five times, okay? He doesn't catch the cultural reference. Do you mean Back to the Future? No, Return to the Present. Back to the Future. What kind of stupid movie title is that? What situation are we in? <laughs> you know, it has uh, it has Stephen McFry and Doc White. <laughs> he turns to Zhang Yin and in Chinese says, Your companion is an idiot. <laughs> I'm. I. He replies, uh, in such. Uh, yeah, I'm beginning to cling on to that fact. Wait, wait, Snake. I thought. I thought this was like an ultimate universe. No, you've. All right. I'm just gonna say it bluntly. In fact, he's gonna say it in character. Just. You do realize you have just gone back to the year 1850. You are. Oh. You are still in your world. You have just. Gone back. No, I meant the like alternate world that we just we don't. I know, use. but I'm just fucking with you. Oh, oh you mean about the movie titles? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I know. Now I am. In that case, I was just fucking with you. Oh God. Perhaps it. Perhaps both movies exist in this alternate universe. It's just a cheap VHS knockoff. You're trying to say, tell me that Jaws 11 wasn't real? Wasn't. 
Let's ask you if you're assuming that Back to the Future or Return to the Present. I have a proposition for the three of you. Yes. Oh, yeah? I assume you wish to return to your time. Yeah? That would be nice, yeah. Possibly. I have a bear to hunt. Well, then you have business. He sits down. You do know what is happening in China at this time. Nope. Oh, wait. No, I saw this. The last shot. The last Chinaman. Uh, I was raised in the States, so I'm not familiar on the Wait. Chinese background. The British colonial invasion? Opium wars. Oh. Oh. I have been through time. I, f I know that it's not something that will go well for us. So I have set upon it in my time to save as many as possible. Oh dear. Okay. Here's the thing. How can we change it if it's already been determined? Because... Not... No, I know it's a... I know it's lost. Not without a great change in, not without a great change in time. And that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking that you kill this man. And he pulls out, pulls out a painting that is obviously from the future, and puts it on the table. <gasps> this man is Balamontus Pendrew. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. Whatever he is. <laughs> Whatever he did. A few weeks ago he went rogue from the British Navy. He has been Damn. sacking the, he has been sacking Chinese villages, slaughtering or gang pressing anyone in his way. The bastard. The man is pure evil. And he's after something that which I'm not sure, but many people die in his wake. I don't you... know he's after something. The way it's the way he's been doing things. He just why would he go rogue? He was a high ranking British official. He had more power and more money than he could ever need. What drives a man like that to just take free gunboats and become a pirate? Hmm. I know. You take he looks oh he looks at Manly Machismo. And Zan, you have firearms. A line of red coats would not be expecting such. Um, no. uh, out of character, wouldn't we take? Were these taken off us when we were? On you got them back, remember? When you were we, in oh, the yeah. cargo hold. Yeah. Yes. Never mind. Yeah, we ran into that. Okay. Now, um, old man, may I ask how do you, how do you know about this here future stuff? Because I know a way back to the present. <gasps> is it a uh, DeLorean? <laughs> I mean, is it a is it a uh, DeLorean Ford? <laughs> That'd be a way more product placement based <laughs> conversion for Return to the Present. Sam's uh, trying to put some pieces together about this, and uh, he begins to ask. So. Have you been to our time before, or others? Are you even from this era? I was. I was born. Just at the tu I was born at the turn of the century, but the gates that the gates between times have existed f as long as I remember. Time moves linearly. A year passes here. A year passes in the present. It's truly bizarre, but I have visited many times. The nineties were a wonderful time. Your 90s. Ah. Yeah. Oh. The 90s. It had stuff. <laughs> Definitely had... Has... rocking the guitar and saxophone. I can't and... say I like your time, but it has its charms. But this is my home. These are my people. And I'm doing all I can to defend it. Isn't it kind of dangerous for us to try and... I mean, I'm still getting used to what's going on. Wouldn't us trying to help cause something wrong with the future? Most people will not notice. If you have not been through the inner world, time changes in the blink of an eye, and your memories are rewritten. For you, you will know the change has happened. 
he but just yeah. be he just begins to hold his head about this whole information. <laughs> just as like, he rattles oh, it, as he ra oh, as he rattles oh. it on towards <laughs> Anne. My there are my elders who have since left this co mortal coil have told me that the timeline has changed once before, perhaps more than that. So... But it's always one timeline. It's always affected. But thanks to the fact that we can only return to to four preset junctures, you can't do too much damage. Have you ever heard the name Balamortus Pendra in your time? No. So killing him should not do too much damage. Wait, did you select us somehow? No, this is... My son, Pai Meng, was going to leave today to try and hunt down Balamontus Pendru. He was going to take our last few available fighting men and women that I could spare to help, as a dog barks outside. <laughs> I am... If you go and help him, and return alive, I will help you. I need to use every resource that I can get, and you are merely serendipitous in that aim. He he just heavily sighs as he processes this. He looks towards his other companions, I'm kind just, of just kind of just lingering on a vote from them. I'm just checking my shotgun. Hey, uh, you see that other guy we brought in? That demon guy. He's sitting in the corner. With a ver his face is actually contorted into a wide grin at nearly all times. He just kind of puts that up. Yo! Hey, shut up. Hey! Try and be nice. You know, you kidnapped me from my home, and I've decided to be nothing but jovial since, and I don't get any respect here. But hey, if I don't have to go on the Death Defying mission, I'm fine. I can't even do any magic bullshit here. I think we should take him with Tails. Well, so we could use a shield. I ain't in favor. I just want to go back home, you know. I want to go back home too. I want my car grabbing by the like his collar. Like, <laughs> I want my car. Hey, hey, let go. <laughs> my car. And I start shaking him. I had to go to Manchester to get this shirt. <laughs> my car and I was in Manchester. <laughs> Look, and he Tom takes out the. Like his photograph, his wallet, like you know how people have like baby photographs or whatever. He he has that except for his car and him at sunsets and so on. Uh, <laughs> Isn't she a beaut? We'll just leave you here. Well, um, I guess we don't really have any other options. So you will help us, right? I am a man of my word. Alright. I guess it's a deal. So, let's do buy-in. Because I didn't do buy-in last session, and buy-in is a fun thing, because Feng Shui 2 is about action heroes who go and get the job done. So buy-in is what is your character's personal reason for going on an adventure. What is that? It allows you to affect the story in a, in a way, because it makes me change like elements of it to fit their motivation. To get to, back to my time so I can find my car. Not exactly heroic, but yeah, it's a fucking motivation. I, <laughs> I guess it's pretty much the same across the board, but... Goff... Goff yes, 10. Uh, everyone uh, is, uh, everyone uh, will uh, save my car. An <laughs> understanding of our situation, and because I made a deal, I best uphold that deal in the situation that we have. Um, there it's, is, it's really more confusion from my guys, uh, from my character standpoint. There is, um, Song, the old fella, is quick to reassure you. You will be killing bad men, men intent on harming innocents, for gr for no other reason than greed. Uh, I am a man of justice, so, well, not usually the time I do it in, but I guess yeah. <laughs> I uphold by my badge. And I... My reason is the hunt must continue. I need to hunt. There are people who have told me to hunt and I shall do so. 
I'm glad I'm glad that I have your assistance. Now, head out into the village proper and go to one of the caravans. Find my son Pai Meng. He's a rash youth. He wants to prove himself in battle, so don't let him be foolish. I I offer my hand and I just shake it in the most romantic way possible. <laughs> shake his hand. In his... Despite being a near 70, maybe 80 year old man, he responds in kind. He's still got fight in him. Just like Yakuza style, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yakuza. Right. Yakuza. Yakuza. It's happening someday. 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 Anyway. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we roll on this epic adventure? Mm. So, uh, outside, Pai Meng is just kind of like impatient, like hitting, hitting like the butt of his spear on the ground. Like he's been waiting for you guys for a while. This was set to this caravan was set to leave far earlier before a plane crashed. <laughs> well, let's go, I guess. Yeah, let's. Okay. I'm gonna leave the caravan. This is not a Chinese accent, but fuck it, I'm never doing a Chinese accent. <laughs> I went a little bit North London there. I am. You do realize that this is a North London accent, right? Okay, Just... more North London. Hello, <laughs> oh, light. I love the fact that I can't do any British accents. Just the one I've been given. Anyway, you're gonna follow me. Keep an eye out for bandits. They're quite prominent in the lowlands. We have to fear our own countrymen as much as the bloody English. English? That's like <laughs> proto-Americans. <laughs> <laughs> he even when these bloody English. <laughs> you know, I don't think he has much reason to like the English, considering <laughs> They're the time infecting he's in. his language already. Well, they're kind of infecting their people with drug dependence. And colonialism as well. That colonialism. Can, That's can how I, America was born. Can I uh, visualize everyone in the scene talking with a um, like a bad lip sync? Yeah. Like one of those yeah. Old it's Hong Kong things. It's like, horribly hey, out of sync. <laughs> and, every, and all the music's just like Chinese gongs and stuff. Ha! You must. Manly. Machismo. You must you must go here and destroy the enemy. <laughs> Maybe I should just do that, insert the weird pauses to match the sync. Yes. <laughs> Does this also mean that in, in fights, like every punch, when it connects, it sounds like someone's sl it's like whoosh! <laughs> yeah, or like, like it, someone throwing a fucking wet steak at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best, best way I can describe those old kung fu movies, uh, sound effects when punching. <laughs> or like, always oh, a whoosh! So, the, uh, aside from Pai Meng, there are about eight men with swords and spears all around the caravan. And yeah, do you just want to set off, or do you want to do a bit more talky bit? I think I want to see action, so... That's fair enough. That, 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 that's my vote. Let's do this. Okay. And, and we all just walk toward, walk out of the village, and like, even if we don't have capes, it looks like I've, like everyone who's just all the... Um, Normal people well, are I just mean, have, uh, imagining us have capes. Yeah. Our jackets are just blowing in the wind in slow motion. Yeah. You know, like the scene in Face Off where Nicolas Cage steps out of the car. Pretty much like that. <laughs> and, then, and then he gets attacked by a swarm of bees. Yes. <laughs> and then he gets his face cut off. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the right movie. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was fucking amazing. Mm. Watch Lord of War over the summer. That was a fucking yeah, great I've one. seen that one. That one's yeah. great. So, okay, so you're on the road for several hours. Roll wisdom to not get lost. Ha! Oh. No, we're not in Dungeon World. <laughs> um, okay. It's about midday. The air is frigid, and travel has been pretty quiet. Not a soul in sight. The icy mountain roads do make. Did that succeed? Uh, some mild success. You did it with an 8 as well, where you meant to have a 2d6. 
I'm just playing around. Go on. Yeah. The icy mountain roads do make for some slips, but the travel is otherwise simple. The road taken ends up cutting through a settlement. Oh yeah, I was gonna say slips. Basically, John just slipped and like, oh shit! For oh, shit! Oh my god! Man, we got... oh, we... why do do we have to go through this cold ass mountain? Pai Meng just looks at you. It's the best way to avoid the British. He says, forgetting his accent. Yeah, but it's the most cold way. I was, I was expecting a, at least they would give us a warm reception. I say. Quiet. <sighs> As you're passing through an abandoned village, a few fires, the buildings are mostly intact. It's a single road cutting through a semicircle of buildings on one side, and on the other side a straight row. And at the far end is a much larger two-story sort of, not administrative building, but kind of a town centre. There are small fires dotted around, uh, a frozen over well, a big icy patch. But there are a few corpses visible amongst the overgrown grass. Ugh. <clears throat> the corpses are recent. Oh dear. That's uh, that's a terrific sight to look at. Yeah, can I yeah. roll uh, my info hunter skill to find out what I can gather from this? Like, um, who did this? Where did they go? That sort of thing. Yeah, okay. of course. Let's go for it. I just realised. Oh, so, yeah, that passes. Um, <laughs> do you go over to the corpse, or do you like observe them from a distance? Uh, a little bit of both. I observe yeah. from a distance as I'm walking towards it. I'm just blind. Yeah, as you kind of go over, you see a barbed arrow sticking out of his back. The grass is quite the grass is quite tall, and you notice that it's depressed in a given direction. So, someone had shot him with an arrow, ran over to check the corpse, and had ran away again. It leads to the two-story building at the end of the village. The other corpses, similarly, have arrow wounds, but their arrows were retrieved. And do the trails go to the same place? No, they split uh, off to every building in town. Alright. I want to feel this one, guys. I don't know, man. I say we split up. You, you guys there, meat shields. You form a circular perimeter. They swarm a perimeter around the caravan. We're kind of in one of those situations where we still don't know the land. I don't really know if splitting up is wise. Good point. Anyway, I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to go to the large two-story building. If you insist. I'm just going to have my arms like stretched out like wide open. As if, like, um, te testing the, um, the possible bowman is around. As you walk out, men on all, end of, on all sides of the village jump out with bows drawn. Some run out with sword and shield in hand. From the sides, mountain snow leopards walk oh. out from between the buildings. Bloody hell, snow leopards. <laughs> they, are in they are in China. Oh yeah. man! From the t from the top of the two story building, you hear a thud, thud, thud. A man the size of two walks out. He's carrying a chain whip that reaches all the way down from the second story to the ground. Oh! <laughs> I told you the British would give us a warmer reception. Then uh, now. Uh, he, he sort of slips a hand just behind into his jacket and is now, like, sort of uh, just about touching the handle of his gun in a holster. Are you guys, like, outside the village? Is uh, I, I was kind of baiting them, so I was yeah. going on in. So Yeah, like, you kind of... Pai Meng just kind of, like, um, grabs you by the shoulder, Zan, and says, Ah, oh, hell. That's Corrupting Hill. Corrupting Hill? 
bandit leader. Bloody vicious bastard. He, uh, he laughs maniacally and looks down. Ah! My food has arrived. Wait, what food? I'm just a starter. Can you handle the main course? But you're all that's here. Hmm. Well, you see, I have a large calorie count. If you can eat me, you son of a bitch. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> a bizarre conversation. <laughs> they are insulting each other, but still having a friendly tone. Uh, I thought a caravan would be arriving by now. You're a big sort, but would you be enough for both of my pets? My men haven't eaten in days either. Hardly filling, but you do look an interesting fight. That is if you can survive. Oh, give or take 20 arrows. Hmm. Think you'll still be standing after that? Well, you bring your pets on first. I need a new coat. <gasps> Brave. Uh, Yon just looks at Sand like, is this guy for real? He won't be for long if he tries anything. Pai Meng's kind of like, huh, he's far cheesier than I thought. <laughs> You've wandered into this village alone, and yeah. you are clearly not a Chinaman. What are you doing here? Well, you see, we're hunting for... This we? Summit. We, yes. John hides Me. behind I'm, a rock. I'm just, um, no, no, don't, 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 don't... Basically, I point to each of my biceps. <laughs> Me and my friends here. Nice save. <laughs> <laughs> Um, basically, I'm on a hunt for someone. English guy turned rogue. Pendrew. Yeah. I'm guessing you heard a name, otherwise you wouldn't have said it. I've heard of him. I'm afraid your parfum's here, though. Why is that? He paying you? No! I have no care either way what the British dogs want with this land. I'm taking what's mine before it all comes crumbling down. <laughs> With that, he pulls the chain back. The whole half of it. Like, two stories worth of thick metal chain goes flying up into the air and he swipes it back down at you. Roll defense. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> right, oh then. man. I'm gonna get ready to help. Defense. Okay. Defense. Do you think? Oh. Oh, you are fucking smacked. Oof. Okay. You, you take 11 damage. That is minus your toughness, though. Okay. Uh, uh, 11 damage minus toughness. Um, so my toughness is 12, so... Your toughness mean... is 12? Yeah. So you I'm don't big... take any damage? Yes! <laughs> oh, good God. I, I, take that as, I take that as, like, a champ. <laughs> he whips the chain back with blistering speed. It flies up into the air. Do you even go to dodge? I'm going to ask with that. No. <laughs> the chain hits you on the shoulder, and you don't budge. And he laughs. He laughs deep. Ah, oh, man after my own heart. Unfortunately for you, I'm more interested in your pets than you. He looks to his men who are holding the snow leopards back, and he nods, and the two of them are let go. Demon and ghost. It's chow time. <laughs> I, 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 I beam a wide, wide grin. I want to do something. Yeah. So I, want, I, I pretty much want Zan to like sort of pull out twirl out his uh, pistol and point it towards the culprits so anything else won't happen is a sort of like stop them in their place in hopes that they're not going to hit Manly McKisso again oh who say say again who you're pointing the guns at oh god his name flew by me now who uh, just took a swung towards him oh corrupting hill yeah that's it yeah he he looks um I'm going to say as well, the rest of the caravan comes forward. 
And he says, ah, the rest of the meal has arrived. No, nope, no meal here. What, did you, did you not come forward as well, sweet? No, he's hiding behind a rock. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, actually, can I jump in with like an attack or something? You may. I see, I, I see a little, I see a rock. It's a pretty decently big rock. You know, you can hold it in your hand. Almost yeah. To... Yeah. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna fling it over the rock I'm behind and basically use it, try to use it to not bonk him on the head. Roll. All right, this is quite far, so you're gonna get a penalty to this. Okay. If you're doing it from behind a rock on the other side of town. Oh. <laughs> well, what's the penalty? Minus four in this case. Oh, I get a plus one for improvised weapon. So it's a minus three, I guess. And this will trigger combat. I'm just going to announce that now. Yes. Well, I don't. I think we all we can't really reason with this guy. So I should just roll my martial arts then. Yep. So it's um, minus. Three. Actually, I'll use a fortune on this. All right. Remember, you can only spend one fortune at a time. Yeah. So mistake I, I was that. making the first time. The number you've got to beat is thirteen. <laughs> The number Ooh. you beat is 13. <laughs> okay! Your improvi <laughs> improvised weapon your improvised weapon damage, does that increase at all? Or is it just uh, a flat 10? It Was it a flat 10? My impro- um, Let's oh. see now. Improvised wep- What do you say? Improvised weapon, it's a plus 1 for, for martial arts. Just a flat, flat plus 1. Oh my god. Throne found object is 5 damage, so 6. <laughs> Oh, sorry, but for that, Lara, to just laugh. I did, I did not expect it to actually. <laughs> so, it's six. All right, so we just do the maths here. So. Oh boy, boy, boy! How much damage did you do to him? You did nine damage with a thrown rock from across town. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's actually a very good start. So describe, sweet, what happens. Well, John, you see this rock is like he's cowering behind. He, he, I, he just throws it behind him. It gracefully soars over the rock he's behind. It gracefully soars through the village, and like everyone can just see it. Looking at it, like, it slowly, and then slowly, it bonks him on the head. <laughs> and I have to say, all this time, you're like, you know, that graceful... <laughs> Boink. But yeah, it didn't poke him any eyes out, I assume. Nah, eyes are still intact, but he does, he recoils back. <laughs> he looks around. Who threw that? Zan uh, 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 is sort of staggering in his place, but then keeps a, a confident pose as he has his pistol drawn out in the sort of like freeze style. He looks. He looks at you. What is that you hold? That a flintlock? Well, sort of, but this sort of fires harder lead into you. Oh. I don't get it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you anyway. Show <laughs> him. I don't think you want, want to force me to shoot this. Oh, I want you to shoot that. I want you to give me a reason. Okay, let's... Everyone roll your... Everyone roll your uh, initiative. Speed, uh, speed plus 1d6, not exploding. 11, you're on shot 11. So wait, I've been just wondering. Hmm? So uh, I can just roll the speed? Thing well, in in no, initi uh, there's an initiative button on the sheet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Hold on. 7. Okay, you wanted to send the, the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. We well, can't, no, 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 no. But there is no turn order thing. That yeah, no, sense. it was just weird, but there you go, my 8. And, oh yeah, both plus my regular speed, right? 
E no, no. No, just initiative. Okay. So he's on shot nine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, well no, it was plus speed plus okay. That means that. Uh I can't move my token. I can select it but I can't move it. The f it's, it says you're controlling it. Mm. How weird. Yeah, and for some reason you're not on the you're not on the sheet. Oh there huh. we go. There we go. There can you move it now? Nope. Let me just refresh. And now the looks. There we go, and I was at uh, what number did it say? Eight? Yep. Good. G -g 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 Ghost? And Zan is on 11. Yes. Uh, I thought I had moved it, but I must have. You're con controlling Kyle's, uh, Kyle's character. No. That's Zan Yen. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, I keep messing. Because one of them looks like more like a cop than the other. <laughs> Alrighty then. So let's start. First off, the man holding back Ghost is yanked forward violently as Ghost takes off towards Manly Machismo. Sus. Snow Leopard dives forward and rolls to hit. Come at me, bro. Eleven. Come at me, brother. Your defense is... Oh, your defense is twelve. My... Yeah, my defense is twelve and my toughness is twelve as well, so... Yeah. So, how do you dodge? It's barreling towards you, it jumps up, it goes to bite. I, um, sort of, sort of dive underneath it and roll, roll around. And basically, I'm just looking at it, and it's sorry, it's going by, hmm, a fine fur. Uh, and then I get back up. Okie doke. Shot 11, Zan Yin. On all sides right. of the village, bandits are diving out with bows and arrows drawn a snow leopard just dived at Manly Machismo, and on the building ahead, a giant holding a chain whip, a size that should not be possible, is glaring angrily, looking around for someone who just threw a rock at him. Hmm. In, so, in the defense of his companion uh, in this whole escapade, Manly Machismo, Zan wants to, uh, uh, God, stumbling over my words today. Take fire towards the man who began to charge him. So are you, are you um, like firing guns at him then? Yes, my gun. Go ahead. Uh, uh, what I... The number you've got to be is thirteen. Cold detective. Uh, my cold detective. Let's see. Uh, so, uh, guns. Yep, yeah, you roll guns and. Cult Detective is 9115, so that means it does 9 damage. Oh yeah, this is something I forgot as well. Input value fortune, so if I want to... Yeah, you can only add one fortune die at a time, but, you know. I'll go with one. Alright. Remember those Ooh. costs, so now you're down to 6. Four. Oh my good fucking god! What just happened? 666! Six, six, six. <laughs> you got four consecutive sixes! <laughs> oh, oh, my, oh my... God. Is he just doing a funny Matrix bullshit? But yeah, yes. okay. Goff, let me explain something to you. A roll of 25 is adequate for your character to jump the Grand Canyon. So whatever you were planning to do, you could do something greater than jumping the Grand Canyon. You can fucking take all, out all the mooks, almost. Uh, he can't, like, change it to attack the mooks, but whatever he did to... Whatever he just did to Corrupting Hill is going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. 
So let me just do something right sharpish. Just, just you describe your action, and I'm going to do the maths. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of that freeze frame moment, and they actually have this sort of thing, like heat moves like this in Dead Souls, you choose the Dead Souls, it's sort of that heat moment, everything sort of speeds up, he unleashes his gun, and then he like, he sort of, uh, he sort of says to him in Chinese, free their su freeze their sucker, just lets out, and you can see the rapid motion of the bullet go across, and then right into the midsection of a uh, Ghost, was it? Ghost? Oh, you're shoot. Are you shoot? You're not shooting at Corrupting Hill. You're shooting at the uh, Snow Leopard. Oh, am I? All oh, right. Ghost okay, and yeah, Demon sorry. are Snow Leopards. Corrupting Hill is the Bandit Leader. Yes, yes. That's that's what that's what I meant. Sorry. Okay. Well, anyway, same action. <laughs> yep. Now I've just got to calculate the difference. His defense. His defense. His defense. How dead are they? Um, well, we'll see. His defense is 13. So, he beat that by 29 points? <laughs> I didn't expect that. that. That's a way to start or something. Yeah. So, and his... Okay, minus... Six. Minus toughness. He, you just did 32 damage. <laughs> He's dead. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> It's Insane. fucking Savage Worlds all over again! My boss fights are not allowed to fucking exist! <laughs> it's, J it's Jack, but in and a Chinese And hilariously, Goff is playing the strong-ass dude again. He's laughing, he's yelling, Ha ha, you will all die before my chain whip! And he pulls it up in the air and starts swinging it around, then he's hit in the midsection. He reaches over, grabs his gut, and then just falls off the building. <laughs> and is <laughs> dead before he hits the ground. Zan just uh, <laughs> takes the end of his pistol and just blows at the smoke on the end of it. <laughs> Does everyone else just stand there flabbergasted? Um, I'm gonna say, for that roll, six of the mooks run away immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Come, come back here, cowards! <laughs> Yon just pokes out, pops out like, yeah. You run! Uh, after all that banter, <laughs> he only does one attack and it doesn't even work. So, well, that should set a precedent. It's like some anime shit, like, where he tries to... Where it's like, you, you're, you're trying to make the main character look, look good. That was exactly the scene out of fucking Black Lagoon. Oh, Where the oh, Nazi Which just spends is... ages describing his gun and is then just shot in the gut. And that's oh! it. Yeah. She's just gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Goff is Remy. He's not even, like, the strong character in this. <laughs> not, like, bulky anyway. He's just a Chinese, half Chinese American cop. And uh, that puts you on shot number eight. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I'll do it. Next up is Ghost. Ghost uh, is going to. Sp is Ghost was the one who tried to attack. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost like lands on her, lands on her back, spins back on her feet, and dives again for Manly Machismo. One must brace. Twelve. That just hits. That just hit, but my toughest is 12, so uh, I don't know yeah. if that does anything. So, no, that does nothing. <laughs> they have to beat you with Swerve to do damage. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to do a few things, like, <laughs> encounter-wise. Yeah, because I could take hits like a champ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You right? You okay? Eh, uh, something fell off. Fell down. Ooh. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm or fell down. Ah, I think yeah, nothing too worrying. Except oh, I'm plugged in. Don't not worry, it's nothing too horrible. Okay. Since Zan has already gone and you're both on shot eight. Swede, John. <laughs> yes, John ha it has finally revealed himself. And actually, is there anything? Reasonable nearby. What's ne exactly where I am? I am at like what's that? 
San was. Okay, this village is completely abandoned, but the people clearly left in a hurry. So, there are, like, carts lying around, hot, like, little chocks of wood. There are, of course, more stones, but... You can't stick the stones, that's boring. There are various shacks you could look inside. Um... Uh, there's soiled uh, vegetables... Actually, sacks of grain... So weird, but is there, like, a... One of those cloth drying hang lines? Yes, yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, actually, the... Does it have, does it have reasonable st uh, Actually, he, he goes there like, I'm gonna show you some American style. I'll take this clothesline and turn it into a lasso. Of course, as you do. And basically, like, whoa! And he, he's gonna, he's gonna try to uh, throw, throw it, the, basically, around the... Uh, Demon snake. Roll it. Okay. And this is improviser plus one. Mm-hmm. Sus. Um I'm gonna roll without. That does not connect. No, it does not. Oh no. What happens is Demon sees you throwing the lasso. And just bites it and tugs you. Duh! <laughs> Do I f d get pulled forward? That's up to you. <laughs> um, I, I, I'll, I, I'll take it as I get it. Also, uh, I used to look at something. Improvised weapon. Oh god, I saw it. Shot cost one. Oh, is it shot cost one to pick up the weapon? Yeah, yeah okay. That actually puts a very good limiter on your abilities. Yeah. I'm just gonna go back one, two, three, four, f four then. Yeah, so that puts you on shot five. No. Yeah, four. Of course, fucking eight, four. <laughs> Alright, Zan Yin, you're up again. You just one shot my boss, you bastard. <laughs> 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 they, these things seem to happen in some of your games. Mm. Especially when you're around, Goth. Apparently. Not in Austin's games, though. He, he plays a harder card. Yeah. Zan turns around, sees Demon, put, he, he, you know, hand under the bottom of his pistol, his, uh, his right hand holding the trigger, he grips his pistol, draws it down, he's like, I'm gonna give you one more chance. All of you, freeze. Or else I have to take further action. I'm already freezing! <laughs> Not, not you too, as he um, uh, refers to John and Manly Mikizo. Demon turns and growls at Zanyin. <sighs> All right then, he's gonna. Co he. he uh... <laughs> why, why can't I talk today? God, must be still be sluggish from work. Drawing his gun down, he's gonna take further aim towards. He doesn't want to aim for the head. He wants to try and do this as less painful as possible. He's going to aim for one of his legs, aiming towards the knee. He's going to take him and fire. You're going to kneecap a snow leopard. Yes. Oh! Roll it. Ten actually, I think that would actually be a lot more So painful. wait, demon, yeah. and go demon and ghost are the Sm cats? Yeah. Oh, God. 14. That connects... By two points. Are you using the cult detective again? Yes. He has it in his hand, so I'm, I'm keeping that. He he wants to reserve his Remington uh, police pistol. For now. So yeah, cult detective. Well, obviously, you're not on police duty. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I guess so. Makes sense. Six damage. Oof. So I just got to put me for it then. Right. I didn't shoot you in the throat. I didn't use a fortune for that. Um, it clips the side of Demon's face, and it charges. Oh boy. It charges. It charges you. Uh, that sure. is your defense. A bite from this does 10 damage. 
your toughness is you take free damage, basically. Hey. So, uh, so that's in wounds, isn't it? Yeah. And Freedom. you'll both move back to shot number five. Manly Machismo. Excellent. Okay. Um, I was up against Ghost, wasn't I? Yeah, Ghost charged you a couple times, and then she is... Well, she got distracted by the lasso thrown by John Hattrick Smith. Right. I'm going to grab her tail and smack her to the ground. <laughs> I'm going to try and bludgeon her and use her as a weapon. Go for it. Right, martial arts, yeah? Yep. Excellent. i got to spend one fortune on this. So fucking brutal towards the cat. 14. Beats tough, beats uh, defense by 2. What is your, um... What's my strength, isn't it? Yeah, I know. What's your damage? Because I know it's different in your case for uh... an armed melee. Uh, oh... Uh, oh, um, defense toughness. I'm not sure if establishing speed. shot applies to this. Um, it's your a, first attack, isn't it? Yeah, first so, attack. So plus two bonus and um, strength, tough, tough martial arts. Um, da, 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 da. I'm not sure if anything else applies to this. Um, well, actually, your unarmed damage is always different, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, no, it's um. Add plus three damage to any successful martial arts strike. Oh, okay, so it's ten damage because an unarmed martial arts is uh, seven typically. Okay. Okay, so ten. So ten. The difference is four. So fourteen damage. So nine. Another nine damage to. Well, oh no, not another. That's demon who took the damage. So nine damage to ghost. Nice. <laughs> right. Just like the cat's just like. Wow. <laughs> 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 just bang <laughs> growling <laughs> at tried to turn backwards and growl at you as, as she is flung through the air <laughs> okay so how many mooks are left seven mooks left alright let's split the damage let's do this first three and I'm not doing this before I look at the shot first three are going to shoot at manly machismo and I did not have the chart open. How fucking stupid of me. Where is that? Uh, there's the attack sheet. How we how silly of you, Snake. 1777. So, Snake, is this like a sheet that you generate on a site or something? Yeah, on the official site, it pre-rolls several hundred attacks for mooks. Cool. Yeah. 1777, so 17 connects. Defense is 12, yeah. 17 for difference of 5. And they're using bows and arrows. 7 damage. So, 14 damage. So, Manly, you take 2 damage. The no! Three mooks raise their bows at you and let loose. Two arrows fly past you. One bounces off of your chest. <laughs> so, it just gets me 3 rune points, yeah? Uh, 2, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, 2. Sorry. Yeah. Alright, okay. the next two are a 10 and an 8. They do not connect with anyone. Every, all the rest of the mooks miss. Oh boy. It's, a, it's Hans Cough wondering why the fuck he isn't in Hong Kong. <laughs> Get good service out here. <laughs> 